Many prominent Ugandans, including the King of Buganda Kingdom, religious leaders and politicians have called for a quick investigation into the November 18th and 19th riots which resulted in at least 54 deaths and dozens of injuries. So far, government agencies have not shown commitment or given timelines for any investigations into the death and loss of property that resulted in the arrest of about a thousand Ugandans. So just be patient a bit, just know that investigations are being conducted. And you know investigations about such things, this is just one month. And we are talking about investigating every incident. The issue was central to the fourth 2020 quarterly report on the state of the rule of law in Uganda, released by Uganda Law Society. There's, there's a lot of people that have been arrested uh, since then, that have been incarcerated, but our judiciary, uh, especially in the lower judiciary, we've seen a disagreement with the principle of giving bail. So you find that it's only exceptional circumstances where people are given bail. Yet, really, because of the presumption of innocence, bail should be given unless they extenuating circumstances or unless these are capital offenses. And even when bail is denied, reasons should be given. And we've not seen a lot of um, due attention being given to this matter by members of the judiciary. The UN Human Rights Representative in Uganda who attended the meeting warned the state could be regurgitating citizen anger that might erupt and put to waste government's acclaimed achievement peace. If there's a human rights violation and then there's prompt reaction from the duty bearers, particularly the states as the chief duty bearers as I said, then it gives the citizens or the population a sentiment that yes, there has been a problem, but the problem has been somehow fixed. And that is important in the preservation of peace. Because if there are no system in place to ensure that there is accountability, then people are tempted to take justice in their hands. And that is not the direction we should be going. Someone said that uh, we, they filmed one of the soldiers and they said, this man, we know him, we know your family. Now they've started threatening the families of those officers. So I think it, it actually, the state needs to get involved in making sure that justice is, is received for those that lost their lives and property. Without, a, without accountability, then we are actually sitting on a time bomb. These calls for an investigation add to other previous calls in previous incidents that have not been honored to date. Edward Mhumza, NTV.